Today I'm going to be going over some keyboard shortcuts in both SDK and ODTK that you can make use of just to make your life a little bit easier as you're working with both tools. SDK actually has a list of some of the standard keyboard shortcuts in the SDK help. So there's a whole list here. You can print this out, post it up on your desk um, as reference, and it's just going to help you with a lot of your common tasks such as saving a scenario, opening a scenario, exiting the application, things like that. Um, I know one of the ones I use a lot is Control S. I use that both in SDK and really throughout any applications I'm using in Windows. Um, save often, especially with SDK. You don't want to ever lose your work. Um, and so it's just easy to do a quick Control S and save my SDK scenario. So in addition to some of the ones that are here in the documentation, there are some other sort of generic Windows shortcuts that actually work in SDK as well. Um, so back here in SDK, one of my favorites is when you're trying to rename um, either a um, object here in your object browser or maybe rename a report style in the report and graph manager. You traditionally have to do what I call the slow double click. So click twice, but not double click, which will open the properties. And that works. Um, but if you get frustrated with that and can't quite get the click, you can hit F2, which will allow you to rename that object. If you're on a laptop like I am, you might have sort of those dual function buttons where your F1, F2, whatever, also have another purpose. So in my case, I have to hit function F2 to get that to work. But if you're on a traditional desktop keyboard, you can probably just hit F2 and see how that right there changed it so that I'm in the rename mode for that object. And that works in a lot of different places in SDK. And it works in ODTK as well. So switching applications over here, I'm in ODTK, in this case, in the report and graph manager, um, called the Static Product Builder in ODTK, I can do the exact same thing, function F2, and then I'm able to rename that report. Back into SDK, I'll open up the Report and Graph Manager here for SDK. Um, another handy thing is that in long lists of items in SDK and in ODTK, you can jump to uh, the, the item that you're interested in by hitting the key on the keyboard of the first letter of that name. So as an example, if I wanted to create a new report in SDK, I can open up the properties of that report, and I have a long list of different folders of data providers in SDK. So if I'm interested in the eclipse times of the satellite, instead of scrolling all the way down to the E's, I can just hit E, and then I'm down in that section, and I can quickly get to the eclipse times that way. Same with within the subfolders of um, that report um, style there. So you can get to any of those quick things there by just hitting that um, alphabetical letter of that um, key. So very easy there. Also works in ODTK. So ODTK, Static Product Builder. Let's say I wanted to create a new report. So I'll just do a new report style here. And I wanted to create a histogram um, to look at this filter run. I can just hit H, and it jumps me over to the histogram. So very similar. You can do the same thing in Windows File Explorers. And so it works in ODTK and in SDK. Uh, let's see. One last thing that I love in ODTK. This is probably one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts ever. Um, is in the ODTK, you can get to the help by going to help, ODTK help, and it actually highlights it right here for you on the um, splash screen of the ODTK help. You can get to what we call the context-specific help by hitting F1. So in SDK, the context-specific help is easy to find because every SDK GUI has the nice little help button at the bottom of it. ODTK is a little less GUI based. You're often working with these large lists of text here. So if I want to know what exactly does ODTK mean by, in the filter properties, a tracker list. Well, there's no help button for me to click on right here. But if I just hit F1, it pops up the ODTK help straight on that page of tracker lists. So that's the quick way to get to the context specific help for ODTK. Love that one. I use it all the time. Um, it's just the best way, instead of searching on these, to find the help that you need immediately. And then one last one here, back in SDK. If you're ever demoing SDK, you might want to um, view it in full screen so that you're not looking at all these toolbars here in the object browser and the timeline view. So you can go to view and go to full screen. So in this case, I've brought up my full screen of my integrated uh, workspace, which was just my 3D window uh, for this one. If I hit the P key, it just plays my scenario. So you can see my satellite orbiting, my Earth rotating. And then if I want to pause it, I just hit the space key. So this is a nice, quick way to demo SDK without the clutter of the other windows and make use of some of those keyboard shortcuts.